Howdy y'all, Billy Joe Smith here with You Hook It, We'll Cook It TV. Code Ranch has kindly asked me to come and show y'all how to make some delicious fish dishes. So today, I'm going to show you how to make some sushi. How's that sound? Sounds pretty good. Now, the Texas Gulf Coast just opened up snapper season, so that's what we'll be featuring our main pieces of sushi on today. Let's get started. Now first we're gonna to have to get us some ingredients. First on the list is vegetables. We got some uh, cucumber, avocado, and some cilantro. Right up there. And we got, uh, we got fish. We got salmon. We got tuna steak. We got red snapper. And you gotta get your soy sauce, some Asian flavoring sauce, get you some pickled ginger, and oh yeah, crab with a K. Fake crab. That's what you need. Now the word sushi and sushi means rice. And that's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need this specific type of sushi rice. You can find it at the big H-E-B. What you wanna do, is you wanna get you two cups. By volume of some sushi rice. Put in a flat glass container like so. And then with cold, cold water, you're gonna rinse it. Get all this white, gunky, fibrous stuff that's gonna make the rice all sticky and nasty. You don't like it. See how gross that is? You don't you don't want that. Let's pour that out. It's gonna take about three or four times to get that rinsed out. All right, so now what you want to go and do is you're going to take your, your ranch rice, dump it into a medium-sized saucepan. Then take the exact same two cups of water and the way rice water, get it all up, stir it in, dump it on in there. Now you're going to turn that to high until it starts to boil. We'll come back when that happens. Alrighty, now when the rice starts to boil, kill the heat and cover for 10 minutes. That's 10. 10 minutes. Alrighty, now when your 10 minutes has come up, then your rice is all done, it needs to cool down. So get the largest glass bowl you have, wooden bowl preferably, but if you don't got it, glass will work. Empty all that yummy sticky rice. Into the bowl. Woo, got a little steamy. Now you wanna spread it out. Now the next step after that is take this uh, rice sticky sweet stuff that comes in the sushi place. Uh, it's called sweet cooking rice seasoning. Now, you don't want to just dump all of it in there, but you want to give it a little, little splash. That's what's going to help to make the rice a little bit sweet and nice and real sticky for you. Now, you don't want to stir it in because that'll mess up all the starches and whatnot. You just want to slice it like a like you're slicing a pizza. And once you, if you got all that in, do the same thing. Spread it out on the edges. And uh, wait till it cools down. Now I'm gonna talk about how to be cutting this fish up. This right here is a tuna steak. Now, the most important thing to remember when cutting up sushi is that you wanna cut against the grain. If you look real close here, a little close, there's grains. They all run like this. Now, when you cut against the grain, 
fish falls apart in your mouth. You cut with the grain, it's all gummy and chewy and no good. So what you want to do is take your nice sharp knife, and get some nice real thin pieces, complete sawing motions against the grain. Once you get two or three of those, place them on top of each other. Cut that right down the middle. And you got little tuna fingers. Good for being inside your sushi. Freshly caught from the Gulf of Mexico, red snapper. Mm -mm, boy, don't that look pretty. All right. So now if you look on this fish, the grains run this direction, so you want to cut long ways. Get your piece and there's one. There's another. Hmm. Look e there. Now trick of the trade is when you just eat the raw fish by itself it's not called sushi anymore it's called sashimi mm, yummy yummy snapper so now we got some snapper and some tuna next up we got the, the salmon is it blinking red on the screen okay alrighty now when you uh, get everything cut up when you get your fish and your veggies and you got your good sushi rice ready to go you're ready to assemble now you're gonna have to have you one of these little bamboo mats one of them covered in clean wrap and the other one not and then they sell this stuff called nori it's a uh, looks like seaweed and people call it seaweed but really it's, it's green algae so get you some nori And you want to get you a good handful of this sticky rice. It's always easier to take some off. So make sure you put a good bit, good amount on. Mmm. There we go. Spread that out. Get a little more. A little more. Get you a few pieces of your crab with a K. Get you some tuna fingers get you some cucumber piece of avocado or two or three some uh, serrano peppers for some spice they got this stuff called wasabi in a paste it's real good too. It's spicy. Don't use it mildly. It's hard to get on that rice, so sometimes you just gotta rub it on the fish. And the key ingredient gets you some uh, red snapper. Mm mm mm. Alright, now once you get that all on there, you're gonna grab the edge. Well, Grab the edge, wrap it around, pinch as you go, and just keep on rolling, baby. Yeah. As you roll the fly, medium pressure. You don't want to turn it into little rice nuggets. Don't squeeze too hard. And then you turn all the way around. Mat comes out. Got yourself a sushi roll. And you got sushi. Next dish is probably the easiest one you're gonna do. Piece of sushi called nigiri. Now, one of these keys to messing with this sticky rice is get your hands just a little bit damp. Rice won't stick so easy. Hands. Get your little mound. And like I said, you don't you don't want to squeeze it. You don't want to turn it into little rice nuggets. You just want to kind of shape the rice. The trick is is when uh. When you put it in your mouth, you want it to fall apart in little bitty pieces. 
So, shape the rice into a little, little oval. Grab you a nice big, uh, big piece of snapper. You know what? Let's put some. Uh, put with some some of that wasabi. Little little dab of wasabi. Smear that on the bottom of the red snapper. Right on top of uh, better rice, and that is nigiri. All right. Now, uh, last but not least, we're gonna make us an upside down roll. These are kind of fun. Once again, you'll start out with a piece of uh, the nori. Get that out. Get you a good heaping helping of uh, your sticky rice. After you wet your fingers, of course. Don't forget to get your fingers wet. Some sticky rice. Good amount of sticky rice. All right, and then just spread that out. All right. Now, once you get your sticky rice on, you want to take it and you want to flip it over down on the cellophane one. With a good little press. Now, take uh, some of your cucumber, some of your avocado, Go with some uh, some tuna. Let's just jam pack this full of everything. Let's get some uh, some salmon. And uh, let's get some uh, serrano peppers. Cause I like the spice. Get you a little bit of wasabi on the fingers. Rub that across. Here with the wasabi. I'm even go get and go spice here. I got some of this uh, what I call jalapeno seasoning. Give me a little Mexican in with my Japanese. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's gonna be good. Now, now the same way you rolled the other one. Just gonna roll it and kind of squeeze and then keep going keep the squeezing going medium pressure remember you don't want to turn them into rice nuggets and then there you go got you a inside out sushi roll and cut little pieces for the top of each roll. When you get your red snapper on top, throw a little uh, black sesame seeds. Get you a little of uh, orange ginger or any other type of uh, sauce that you like that's uh, oriental in flavor. And just give that a little drizzle. drizzle of that. And I like spicy. Mm. So they got this chili sauce and it's really good. Give it a little, little dab on each little piece. And there you are. Inside out sushi roll. Now along with your regular sushi, a little piece of nigiri you already ate. Yeah. That's how you do it. All you'd cut a ranch like the video, you'll get all the stuff you need to make this. Y'all have a good day here.